Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, my voice is just a little bit strained. Still, I'm getting over um, laryngitis, so I'll speak up. Hopefully you can hear me. And um, just to let you know, I've done your spread with my combined tarot slash uh, animal oracle. I like to put them together in this great big stack because it's just a lot of fun. And I find I get some really um, some really interesting uh, deep messages when I combine the two. It feels like a really balanced energy to me. I see them symbolically as um, the masculine and the feminine merged. So, Scorpio, um, beginning your reading today with this absolutely gorgeous card. Hasn't come out yet in a reading of mine, The Otter Spirit. Um, it says you are never alone, but what I was getting from this today, I don't know if you can see it. There's an otter here and then there's another one nuzzled up right under the chin of the first one. And the whole thing is shaped like a heart. Um, so what I was getting from this today, Scorpio, uh, I almost called you otter. <laughs> um, what I was getting from this today was that there's somebody, uh, somebody really close to you. It almost feels like a family member, somebody that close and comfortable and familiar to you that is really almost kind of rushing in and just loving you up. And with their, it's like their nose is tucked up under your chin. It's like they're trying to, to lift your, your, your chin up a little bit, trying to cheer you up. But the other thing that I was getting from this, um, like I said, I don't feel like this is a new energy in your life, but it may be a new side of them that you haven't seen before. Because with this heart shape and with this otter, um, it seems, you know, they're, they're completely um, physically merged and, and really snuggled up together. And what I was getting from that is that, um, you know, when you are really physically expressive of your love towards somebody, um, you know, like, how do I say this? You know, generally, most of the time, uh, most of us are pretty subdued in our expressions of affection to other people. Um, you know, people in our life know that we care about them. But with this with this heart shape, I was getting this real sense that this otter partner of yours, this this um, family member or close friend, it's like they've gone through a real heart activation. Their heart chakra has been opened up. And when that happens for a lot of people, it can really um, make you expressive of love because it's like you're you're feeling love at a whole new level. And so it kind of you're starting to reach out and transcend just the um, the usual exchange that you would have with people in your life. You know, if your heart is really opening and expanding, especially if it's happening very quickly, um, you know, like with somebody who's had a near death experience or some kind of massive um, expansion, a very quick expansion, they can become very expressive, like unusually expressive and really touchy-feely and snuggly. And, and um, so that's the kind of energy I was getting here. So there's somebody in your life who's being exceptionally affectionate and loving and supportive and wanting to cheer you up. Um, with the 10 of water out next, I was getting that this is them. This is what I'm saying about them. It's like they're really, really happy and fulfilled and content. They're the Ten of Cups. It's like they're emotionally um, abundant. They're and and with the water too. It's like they're very nurturing um, and heal. They're a very healing energy in your life. But like I said, I don't think they're new. I think there's somebody you've known for quite a while, maybe your whole life. But this could be a new side of them. It's like they're they're coming um, to you in a way that you may not have experienced them before. The two of earth coming out next, I got the sense, Scorpio, that this was you. Um, you, influenced by them, you're um, coming into balance. You're making uh, a lot of connect, like epiphanies and connections about things that you might not have seen before. Um, you know, this stance here for me is like balance, but also like this aha moment. So there's a lot going on for you um, because of their influence. But I was also getting this kind of... Um, you know that the, they're pulling up these pearls out of the depths of the water and it's like they're pulling they're pulling you up i was seeing you almost like this card was looking to me almost like a little um you know when you see a little sprout coming out of the earth 
the very beginning it's just a tiny little sprout and then it starts expanding really quickly that's what I was seeing here with you you're like this little sprout emerging out of the earth and it's because of their influence it's like they're pulling you up somehow they're pulling up this energy pulling you up and out and expanding you and I was also getting from this card today that um because you know especially in contrast to this card it's um a little bit dull like I, I was looking at this card thinking it's not really containing visually the energy that I'm feeling from and I'm feeling a really vibrant like that bursting of a sprout it's you know the greens the the colors of a sprout just coming out of the earth is really rich and vibrant and this is a bit dull and I was thinking to myself that I wish I could just crank up like the saturation or the brightness level on this card so that you could see visually what I'm feeling from it and I feel like that was kind of a message about about this character that that you know the, they're rushing in trying to lift your chin up pulling you up it's like they're wanting to turn your brightness dial up it's like they see um the the uh the potential of your budding sprout in a sense and it's like they want to just crank up the sunshine crank up the brightness you know speed up the expansion process they're really here as a supportive um invested in you energy so and also um this is making the rhino spirit coming out next this is the same the same energy the rhino combined with this card is um really drawing my attention to that this person part of what is um really helping to lift you and to expand you very quickly in their presence is that they're um they're very happy they're very uh humorous and lighthearted you can see him he's 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 totally delightful and then this rhino um because of the way this deck sometimes takes some of these these animals and puts these um these decorations on them it always makes me think it's it's a little bit silly it's like you can't take it seriously so there's something about this energy you know it's like that um you know when the enlightened buddha that just giggles at everything like nothing is really that serious everything to them especially if they've just gone through this heart opening it's like they're they're having this new um this new lease on life where they're feeling really uplifted really light-hearted and jovial and just um you know wanting to bring humor to uh every situation and so and what that's doing for you like i said not only is it is it helping to sprout you expand you bring a lot of growth into your life um you know just just because of their influence just because they're cheering you up and they're they're making you feel really good and and realizing that um you know nothing is really that serious nothing is really that um intense that we can't overcome it or we can't you know see the bright side of it with the ten of air coming out next with this rhino you know the rhino it says overcome any obstacle um you know it's like they're charging through but like i said with this real sense of humor with this real lightheartedness the ten of air is um the ten of swords in the traditional tarot if you know that card it's a figure um face down in the dirt with all these swords coming out of its back really intense and dramatic and that's what i'm saying this energy here this rhino coming into your life um or showing their their uh humor helping you um become more humorous is really lifting all of that heavy karmic dramatic um you know sword in the back kind of energy you know they're coming through and they're just bashing their way through all of that with their lightheartedness it's not like an aggressive um energy at all it's it's totally a playful cheerful light high vibration energy and it just um has the effect of almost um you know if you have a ten of swords energy with all that heavy drama and and wounding and pain and betrayal it's like they're coming in and it's just shifting to this this um they're having this really magical almost alchemical effect on it where all the swords are suddenly turned into to feathers where you're just feeling like you can just suddenly release it you know when you're having a really great time the dark times uh you know feel a world away and they just don't feel nearly as uh threatening as they may at other times so it's like they're really helping you to release all this energy in this really beautiful way in a really easy way um 
And the other quick message from, from these two cards is that they seem to be like this real bedrock, real solid foundation for you. That's why I feel like they've been around for a long time. I don't feel like they're brand new. Um, and if they are somebody new coming into your life, like I said, this, this energy doesn't feel new to me. It almost feels a little bit slow moving and really steady and a strong foundation. So I feel like they've been there for a long time. But if they are new, um, they're not really new, if you know what I mean. It's like you've known them through lifetimes. So um, even if they are brand new to you, they're going to have this feeling like they've been there forever. Um, so... After this uh, Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords turns to the Ten of Air and you're able to just blow all of that energy away like light as a feather. The Wheel of Fortune comes in next, of course, because um, the Wheel of Fortune is the is the the uh, wheel beginning to turn. It's like the it's like what I was getting from this card today is almost like um, it's almost like this, the, you know, if the Wheel of Fortune is seen as your fate or your destiny and the turning of the wheel is is your fate or destiny coming into play into action it's moving it's it's a moving part in your life it's almost like it's been uh i was getting the image of like this rusty um you know crank that you would that that got like jammed into a frozen position it got rusted solid but it's like this person comes in enlightens your load and your vibration and your mood so much that suddenly that crank is able to turn again and you know you can and then you can turn it very very quickly so it's almost like up until now your destiny or some kind of destined energy in your life was always there but it wasn't active and so there's something about this um person this counterpart of yours that has really um got that energy moving for you their influence or, you know, just having them at your side is starting to move this energy for you, starting to bring some faded um, events into into play for you. Oh, Scorpio. So let me just catch my breath here. So next is the rabbit spirit. Along with this grasshopper spirit. Um, beautifully, both of them are, um, you know, jumping leaping hopping animals but what i was getting here there's um these two little bunnies down here those are you two this it's like an echo of this energy this gorgeous like nestled in um beautiful counterpart um two of a kind um but like i said almost kind of feeling like they could be a family member um you know maybe you're married and you could have been married for a very long time but suddenly your partner is um is a whole new person in the dynamic. Like I said, it's almost like they've had this heart opening. So, it, you know, even though they may have been in your life for a very long time, it's like they're a brand new person. They've had an awakening of some sort. So with this rabbit spirit, what I was getting with, you know, the wheel of fortune now being in play, like I said, it's, it's like a slow turning crank at first, but once it gets loose, it spins really fast. Um, that's what I was getting from this rabbit today um, is the speed of the rabbit being like, the, if you've ever watched a rabbit just jolt across the grass, it's like they're like lightning fast. They're so quick. Obviously, that's why they're in that rabbit and the uh, turtle, the hare and the turtle story. They're lightning fast. Um, so I feel like, you know, and this also hints at abundance. It says luck on this card. Now is a lucky time, but I don't see it as luck. I see it as um, abundance of um, it could be financial, but I'm seeing it more of just abundance of vitality, abundance of life force, abundance of movement that's just launching you really quickly, really fast, um, you know, into fast changes, fast movement, and it, like really welcomed, really happy. Like you're the one moving yourself. You're the one. It's not something that's pushing you. It's not something out of your control. You're absolutely, you're this rabbit and you're just full force um, out of the gate. And with this grasshopper spirit as well, um, take a leap of faith. I was getting from this, this, uh, you know, this grasshopper is on this, this um, foliage here, which often presents itself to me as almost like a, a globe. And then the grasshopper leaping off, grasshoppers can jump really far and really high and they you know they just launch themselves and that's what I'm what I'm saying about this rabbit here it's like you're launching yourself 
really far really quickly because this energy is now in play it's like a catapult launching you quickly almost like a quantum leap with this grasshopper i was kind of getting this quantum leap um, you know, timelines, I started to think about timelines, like if you're leaping off of this um, world, in a sense, if this is a globe, it's like you're leaping into a whole other world. So that's where like timelines started to come into view. Um, and I should point out as well, there was some interesting stuff starting to happen with this rabbit and grasshopper and with another card here, um, with this design up here the you know talking about timelines is is starting to uh remind me to point this out here this design here i think it's at the bottom as well but it's up here it's like this um this it kind of has this fractal energy about it it was reminding me of like if you've ever had a migraine aura i experience migraine auras they're these weird kind of dancing colored lights that come into your your view from the periphery and then they kind of expand and get bigger that's what this was looking like, almost a little bit like a migraine aura. But what I was getting from it was that um, it's like this energetic blueprint um, template that's kind of in the background. It's not really part of the action in the foreground or what's going on with all this movement and leaping and launching and, and vitality. It's not quite part of all of this energy up here, but it's just starting to make itself known in the background. It's like it's just start it's just starting to come in and starting to bloom this awareness it's like this awareness of a blueprint of another timeline like i said the timeline starting to come into view here um and then the electric eel spirit coming in here this to me was like a lightning bolt um epiphany coming in like a like a a breaking open of your consciousness like i said with the rabbit being lightning fast and then the eel being lightning um i was getting you know in the original tarot deck the tower card has a lightning bolt coming from above and that's what causes the tower to crumble but this lightning um coming in is actually you know very different than that because you've transmuted all that karmic energy and let go of all that heavy weighted energy that was holding you down, holding you into a, in a dense place and keeping your fate from coming into play. Now that you, you've, you've passed this threshold or um, passed through this portal in a sense, you know, starting to bring into view some uh, original blueprints, some alternate timelines. And then this, this eel, this lightning bolt coming in, like I said, comparing it to the tower card, the tower, if if it had come in before this moment, if this lightning had come in before this transmutation had occurred, it could have been a tower moment for you. But because you've already released all of this energy, it's a very different experience. It's like a, it's like a breaking open of your consciousness. I was getting this like, like, um, you know, this cartoon image of, of a cartoon character getting like hit in the head by a two by four and then their vision being split. And that's where these uh, these timelines, you know, like I said, these timelines were starting to to sneak in and make themselves known. And then this lightning bolt like hitting you in the head and it like it splits your vision into uh, a plethora of timelines with the world card up next. This is gorgeous. It's like I said, it's like. It's like, um, you know, splitting your vision into, um, you know, if you cross your eyes, you get, you can see double images. It's like that, but it's a spreading out of your timeline. But when it spreads out and you can see multiple timelines at once, the interesting thing is, is that they're not identical. They're a little bit different. It's like they all split out of the same original, uh, energy in the center but they, they have different characteristics in each. So it's kind of like this opening up of your awareness. And then it may close back down again. But it's like you're getting a glimpse of, um, like I said, just multiple timelines, multiple, um, you know, bringing in this, this uh, template. Like I said here, you know, these template energies are just kind of coming into view. But this card here, it's it's the whole picture. It's like this template is now being like a strobe light coming on in a, like a blink of an eye and the flash of lightning you can see it fully and it and it 
is spread out before you and it's like this instant understanding um really powerful really powerful epiphany awakening uh moment for you scorpio um and what it does this ant spirit card to end this part of the reading um oh, what do i want to say about this this is you guys this is the two of you these these beautiful badger spirits but when um when this this timeline awareness comes in it's like you suddenly um have a fuller understanding of parallel realities alternate realities and it has something to do with this wheel turning like i said it's it's like this 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 puzzle piece in the center to me it looked like it was turning like these two are turning it it looked like the wheel of fortune so there's something about the two of you together um, at this time and the way your energies are working together that is causing this wheel to turn and in the turning of that wheel that is causing this this um, breaking apart of the timelines it, you know it's like spreading out a map in front of you that you didn't have access to before so it's like the two of you together so it's time to collaborate the, the, the two of your energies together um, is opening up your vision of the future or, you know, of, of eternity. It goes in both directions. It goes in the past. It goes in the future. But there's something about the two of you together that's causing that to happen. Um, so really big energies, really, really, um, you know, it, it, this is stuff that changes your life. This is like, you can't go back from this. The second you get a glimpse of, you know, multiple timelines, uh, you can't go back. It changes your life forever, forever, forever. So, Scorpio, I'm going to keep pulling cards and see what happens, what, what unfolds further. If you're interested, link is in the description box. And if not, I'll see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks. Bye.